you know, for a while, I think the future of real estate was uncertain. Things that were already happening got accelerated. And in other cases, things which just hadn't happened at all seemed to suddenly fundamentally change and even housing. What's particularly striking in this picture is how much office and apartment prices seem to have fallen, 21, 22%. The other thing that's interesting is the housing market is seemingly on fire. So on one hand, home prices are doing great. On the other hand, we have large numbers of buyer, of homeowners who are not even making their mortgage payments. The first thing all of us have seen, you know, the numbers, we have this huge spike, a historic spike in unemployment. There's still large numbers of tenants who continue to make their rent payments in the face of historic shocks. The kinds of supports that the federal government put in, not only people who are unemployed, but the $1,200 checks have really led to the economy living what I think of as kind of an unreal existence. People are all suffering from COVID with their jobs and their livelihoods and their health, but the economy doesn't look like what's happening underlying this because of the federal spending. If we think that this is going to be a long lasting crisis, I think what we want the government to do is to provide a safety net, which is critical. What do we expect about real estate prices? Sooner or later, you've got to see some problems in the market. The core logic estimate is that as the government supports diminish, that they expect over the next year to start to see um, home prices decline on the order of 6.6%. What about commercial real estate? It's actually hard to get commercial real estate prices to fall a lot when there are near-term changes that happen. The reason is that properties are very, very long-lived assets. I don't think REITs are getting harmed by the cost of capital nearly as much as owners of private real estate are getting harmed. And that puts a real question on how are lenders going to manage this. What about the future of cities? Even if you look at the you know rents and prices in the U.S., there are these long-term patterns that have been really favorable to what we, so I call superstar cities. And there's just no question that Sun Belt and rural locations are just better situated no matter what we learned about working um, from home. And so I think these cities are gonna have to figure out how can we work and function and serve some of the social goals we want and value while at the same time being able to do that productively. Mm -hmm.